Good morning. This is Dr. Ashley. There are many people in the black community that say Kamala Harris never did anything for black people. These are the same people who do not have their facts straight on the Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson and Lockheed Martin ruling. These people seem to want a free handout and a free pass because they're black. I see commonalities with Vice President Harris and Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. If you examine both of their careers, they're actually sticklers for perfection. You do the crime, you commit the time. I'm not going to give you a pass and a break just because you are black. You asked for equal rights. You now have it. That doesn't mean I hate you. I was a public defender with Justice Katanji Brown Jackson and a district attorney with um, Vice President Kamala Harris. I served the public. I looked for ways to help you rehabilitate yourself from your criminal past. Vice President Harris instituted the Back on Track program for Alameda County in which low-level drug offenders can complete a workforce training program. And if they successfully graduate from the workforce training program, and don't reoffend within a certain amount of time, their records were expunged. That's what Vice President Harris did, as I believe, District Attorney of Alameda County. That's definitely doing something for black people. Also, she was the first state attorney general in the entire country to institute body cameras for police officers. She was the first state attorney general for 50 states and four livable U.S. territories and the 53 other state attorney generals followed her lead. This is why she's vice president because she has done things for black and brown people. It is a lie that she has not done anything for black people. Yes, the people who are saying this, again, want free handouts. If you examine, and they don't like that Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson and Vice President Harris did not marry black men. Boyce Watkins, one of America's leading black economists, even tweeted the fact that he did not like that Vice President Harris did not marry a black man. He even admitted to it. This sentiment is a deep issue within the black community. Black men are free to love whoever they love. And we black women are not free to explore our options, and just get someone that we vibe with. The world is so evil. We have the MAGA cult infecting various races of people. I don't have time to wait on a black man. I'm just waiting on a good man, period. Whoever that is, whatever he looks like, whether he's black, white, Asian, or in between, I, as a black woman, cannot afford to be that picky in a manga society. This is a problem. She deserves happiness. She deserves to have a good person uh, by her side as a husband. Any black woman, any black man, any person deserves the same. If you look at Justice Katanji Brown Jackson's um, record prior to entering the Supreme Court. She, you know, ruled against white people. 
amidst black people uh, when it when it comes to labor rights basically saying the same ideas i'm following the strict they they're a stickler for following the law and owning up to your crimes uh and i noticed something on even the NAACP's website uh, when they recounted Justice Katanji Brown Jackson's record, even they were saying, oh, she was a little bit too harsh on the black people. Um, and they didn't like that part of her record. This is her job. You ask for equal rights. You show up to court prepared like everybody else. So, really... These women have just been doing their job and they've been helping their people when they can and they don't get credit for that. Vice President Harris earned her spot as vice president. She just happens to look the way that she does and she happens to be married to the person that she is married to. If the, if Vice President Harris was a white woman or even more so, a white man, majority of Americans would be saying, oh yeah, she's the body camera lady. She definitely deserves to be vice president. I see why they picked her. But because racism is so endemic in our society, and Republicans are trying to use the sadness of black men and how they are upset with black women because we want abortion rights after being raped and incested, you know, in the black community. I'm sorry, we don't want to father a raped child and black men, a lot of black men just want to run up the numbers. They're upset that Vice President Harris supports us in that endeavor. Don't even care about being a good dad, a good father, anything. And I'm sorry, some people will just have to be left behind. You can't save them. They belong to the devil. Republicans claim to be pro-moral values, pro-right, and pro-wrong. I see porn stars. I see Andrews Tate connected to porn. All of these people have millions of fans within the Republican Party. I keep seeing match the match last for all of these things. I don't see that within uh Democrat spaces. I just see a lot of families trying to live their life. It doesn't matter whether you think, oh, that's a gay family, they're perverted. They're not most of these families are not out in the street you know, walking gay and naked down the street. They're just saying, I want to raise children. I want to be in a two-parent household. I want to be quiet. I want to go to work. They're actually very wholesome. I see the other side is very loud, boisterous, trying to cause drama, and Democrats really just responding to the loud drunkards. And it's a problem. Um, so who's actually, you know, a stickler for cleaning up their community and not just wearing morality as a fashion keychain? Like, who's actually saying, hey, you do the crime, you commit the time. Let me play uh, a little bit of Vice President Harris's back on track video. The vast majority of parents have a natural desire to parent their children well and love their children. But there are some who don't necessarily have the skills and the resources to do that. And so I designed back on track because sometimes folks just need the help. The brainchild of San Francisco District Attorney Kamala Harris, back on track tackles what Harris calls the root of low-level drug crimes. It's about, yeah, you did commit a crime, accept it, own up to it, and then let's talk about what we can do to change the circumstances going forward. 
When you give people a chance to feel hope, they give you hope. These young adults would walk across the stage at graduation from the reentry program with the biggest smiles you've ever seen. Man, that gives you all kinds of hope.